Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Lemon Gaming and today I've got a very special video for you. It's the best glitch in the world. How to get to Prestige Master as quickly as Capture possible. And I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get this Okay, here we go. Freestyle Friday number nine. Now before you jump the gun on anything, this is supposed to be like a house party type song like 2004, so sing along when you can. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome. Okay guys, so tip one. What you want to do is you want to use UAV, counter UAV, don't bother about the hater because if you continue getting UAVs and counter UAVs and you just continuously put them on, you're more likely to get them and you get 10 points per assist or whatever. So if you put them on, you're constantly getting points throughout the game, working towards a new UAV and counter UAV and they're only about 500 points so it's not bad at all. Tip two, guys, is you can try the bot lobbies if you want um, to see how to do them. I've got them down on the description so you can check them out. It's not really a tip. It's just a method of doing it even quicker. But this is like a legit way to do it as quickly as possible. Tip three is to play the game mode Capture the Flag. Now, you might be wondering why capture the flag, um, you have the spawn delays, you have all of that bullshit, um, but yeah, you want to go and capture the flag, you want to wait, just run around in their spawn whilst you have the flag on, and just get kills with your UAV, and counting UAV, because then you've got tens of points racking up whilst you're running around because within three kills of holding the flag you've already got your counter UAV and your UAV then they're going to be adding up to work into your next counter UAV and UAV so you've constantly got them you can constantly see people on the radar because most of the people don't run ghost anymore ghost is less commonly used so they're going to come up on the radar anyway but I would not stay in one place with the flag because it does tell them where you are. So what you want to do is you just want to run around a little bit. You can go back and forth. You can go around in a circle. You can run around the whole map. You don't have to be in their spawn. Just make it hard for them to track where you are by constantly moving. Just confuse them. Like go in one corner, then go in the other corner really quickly, then go in another corner. And they won't know where you are. And every time you get killed, you will get 200 points. And if there is double XP, you will get another 200 points. I think this is tip 4, but if it's not, then excuse me. But tip 4, what you want to do is you want to go on search and destroy and level up your guns. Because you get a ton of XP from leveling up your guns. If you go into a search and destroy game, you get about 500 XP towards your gun. And if you can get 10 kills, you'll probably level up your gun at least 3 times a game. And then that's pr nearly a thousand XP a game of challenges you wouldn't normally get. And the games don't last long at all. So it's not exactly um, much time for the, considering the amount of XP you will get. Do you want to jump when you kill someone? So you want Afterburner on as a perk. Because if you use Afterburner you need to stay in, you need to kill the person before you hit the ground and you get a essentially it's double XP because you get a medal which gives you a hundred more XP if you do a jump shot you get a jump shot medal tip six is to play the objective this game is all about objective you get rewarded for playing the objective it's a safeguard you get a hundred points for a kill if you're defending the little robot so if you kill someone and you're on the robot, you get 100 points per kill. If you kill someone who's on the robot and is escorting it, you get 100 points. If you escort the robot, you get 50 points every couple of seconds. I don't know how many seconds it is, but you continuously get XP throughout Black Ops 3 by playing the objective. If you get capture kills, mainly on Nuketown, this is really effective. Right off the bat, you run to the B flag, you forget A and you forget C. You don't bother because when you first spawn, you only get 50 points. Whereas if you go to B, loads of people do exactly the same as you. You jump on the flag, 
you shoot people, you get 200 points. And most likely, normally you get about 3 kills whilst on the flag. Then, you get another 200 points. It's mental. Okay, guys? It's really good. You get a lot of XP. Okay, but going on to my next tip. It's not really a next tip, but it's just some advice on you should play Nuketown as much as possible. I know they've taken it out of the rotation so much and you can't play it twice in more than twice in a row, but try and play it as much as possible. Try and play the smaller maps because the smaller the maps, the more gun battles you're going to get into, the more kills you theoretically should get and it will just work well. You will get more XP. Just try and get at least 25,000 XP per game. And you will level up so quickly, you will hit that Master Prestige within no time. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up. I am very hyper right now because I've been drinking so much Red Bull in such little time. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please do hit that thumbs up button. And obviously hit that subscribe button to show your support. Um, there's more tips and tricks, there's more gameplays, there's more everything, just everything to do with Call of Duty and hopefully I'm going to be bringing you some more games like H1Z1, um, maybe Black Ops 3 on the computer, I don't know, just cause any game you guys want, I will bring, so yeah, hit that subscribe button, have a good day, have a good night, have a good afternoon, have a good evening, I'm saying the same thing all over again, just in a different way, but wherever you are, whatever time of day, whatever time of night, have a good day, night, whatever, and peace.